Hi, my name is Annie Carter and I'm an AmeriCorps VISTA with Colorado Canyons Association. Today we're going to talk a little bit about lizards. So out here in Dominguez Escalante National Conservation Area, you see two lizard species pretty frequently when it gets warm outside. The western fence lizard and the collared lizard. The western fence lizard is uh, a really common species, you'll see them a lot. They range in size, they can be pretty small. The largest I've seen is probably about five inches long. They are kind of a dark grayish brown color on their back and they actually have a blue belly, which you might get a glimpse of as they run by. The other lizard species we see a lot is the collared lizard and that is actually North America's only iguanid species, only native species, uh, so they're related to iguanas and they are a really vibrant color. They have sort of a yellow throat area and then they're a bright greenish teal color along their back. They have spots and they're usually a bit bigger than the fence lizard. So a third species of lizard that we have in Western Colorado is the whiptail lizard. So this is about the same size as the collared lizard. It is brown on its arms and legs with yellow running down the middle of its back and a long whip-like tail. That's how it gets its name. So you'll see them a lot on a nice, bright, warm, sunny day. And that's because lizards are ectotherms, which means that they need to get their body heat from an external source. So people, we actually make our own body heat. That's why when we go out in the sun and we start to get hot, we start sweating, and that helps us release the heat that we're getting from the sun. For lizards, they don't produce their own body heat. So they need to go lay on that hot rock, they need to soak up the warmth of the sun, and that gives them the energy they need to go run around and catch their food, escape predators. Without the energy from the sun and the heat from the sun, they wouldn't actually be able to move very quickly. So if you're out in the early morning, you might see some very sluggish lizards. 